Hey everybody, it's Johnny. Thanks for watching my channel. And again, please subscribe if you like my videos. Today, we're gonna look at the S50 sampler and we're gonna um, open it up and we're not gonna, I'm not gonna play any sounds. I'm gonna open up and just show you some of the modifications I've done in my sampler. These are mods you can do yourself and uh, it makes it uh, a much more usable uh, piece of uh, vintage gear. So let's have a look inside. Okay, here we have the S50 and I've uh, cracked the side panels on it and undone a few screws on the back so we can open it up and just have a look at what's inside. I'm gonna just unhook this monitor here so that um, it goes away. I've got it actually attached with some uh, Velcro so you can actually uh, just clip the monitor on and off with some Velcro pads. And Let's just open it up here. So you can see inside the S50, I'm um, going to show you some of the modifications I have. It's not pretty, but um, it's super functional. So here you have the OBS board, and that's the VGA to SCART converter board. And that's just sitting on top of the audio output board. Um, and I've got that actually um, resting there on some double-sided sticky foam that I foamed down to the board. So it's pretty solid. It's not really going anywhere. Um, so let me just take you inside it and show you a little bit more about that first. But as you can see, I've actually um, got a lot of wires running to and fro from the power supply so I could power up these boards. So I'll show you that as well. Okay, here we have the OBS um, converter board and you can actually uh, buy this on eBay for about um, $17. And what it does is actually converts the SCART video to uh, VGA. So you can see the VGA connector right there. Okay, so you can see this cable here runs underneath the motherboard and goes to this video out um, here. And that was actually the um, old SCART video output and um, so what I did is I actually soldered um, the connectors of this, this wire to the pins under that, under that connector and, um, and made the connections. So, so all the resources for the pinouts of this cable can be found online at this really great uh, web resource for the S50 that many of you probably know about already called Llama Music and they give the pinouts um, to that connector. And they actually show it how to pin it out to, um, to a connector plug that you would hang on the outside of the board. But instead of that, I just actually, again, soldered it to the bottom of that connector there, like hard soldered it. And of course, this board also needs power. So I had to run um, a power supply to it. And normally you would probably just hook that power up to um, the rails on the input of the AC, um, or sorry, you would hook it up to the output of the um, converted DC here and just plug it uh, directly into the board. But I didn't want to add any increased load on the actual existing power supply circuit. So I actually just, um, again, with just some double-sided sticky tape, um, I actually uh, soldered a cable on to the end of that plug um, and then with with some proper insulation and actually ran that direct to the AC input and so it's actually running this board on its own on its own power supply so it's separated from from the S50's power supply but it still exists inside the case and then again I ran another one inside the case that I was able to drop here, and that actually goes out my hole that I um, put in the case. Um, and that'll power the actual little mini display as well. So that, that exists inside here too. So when you turn on the S50, the mini display powers up and the conversion board powers up and the S50 all at the same time. And they're using their own power supplies, not the existing um, power supply of the S50, so it's separate separate current draw. And it's all, all inside one package. You can see at the same time, I actually replaced the, um, the AC input with a three-prong 
input instead of the Roland 2 prone, so it accepts the more standard IEC cable, and that um, that actually um, it just is better for grounding, and you won't screw your memory up. Um, just much much better plug. Plus, you don't have to worry about those two prong rolling cords. And then one of the other mods I wanted to show you was this mod here, and this is my relay board. Um, again, you can find information about this on Llama Music. I've made several of these boards, so um, I've got a couple spares that I made up. And that actually, uh, that actually, you pull out the old relay, you have to un pull this board off and then unsolder it, and then solder on the new relay board that drops in, and that'll um, eliminate the, the noise problem while you're playing the the S50. I don't know if you if you've, if you've got an S50 without this replacement, your relay will be um, corroded and it's not going to work properly. Um, so basically, you'll have a lot of distortion on your output. Um, and this relay board was put in there just to stop pops uh, when you turn on the unit. And so when you turn it on, the relays eventually kick in and then let the audio go out. So it's actually a signal path going through this set of uh, relays. So um, it's, you know, it'll affect the audio if the, if it's not connecting properly and the existing relay um, that Roland had in there um, just wears out after many years, it gets corroded and oxidized and stops working. So you can actually build this yourself by ordering the parts or I can build one for you. Uh, just contact me. And uh, that's kind of the mod. So the video out of the SCART board uh, goes again through this hole here that I bored in the side. So it's a pretty small hole. As you can see, I'm just going to go around the front here. You can see the hole. And then um, that goes to some loose cables here that I have. And then you can actually plug those into, yes, the, the monitor and then everything's sort of self-contained. So that just gives you a little inside to my uh, sort of modded S50, which is actually pretty nice and handy. Um, one more thing that a lot of you guys get is the, the USB um, floppy emulator too, and that's, uh, that's super handy. I've talked about that before in my other video where I'm able to just load all the libraries, 100 libraries on one USB uh, stick, and then uh, I can just load those in. So I get 100 floppies per stick, and then I can um, select that and load those up as I need. So that's a pretty handy modification. I think that's about, you know, 30 bucks or so to buy that and drop that in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video on the S50 modifications. Uh, these are things you can do yourself. Puts everything inside the S50, self-contains it, um, and gives you the video display um, fixes the audio output problem uh, and grounds the unit with a, a better uh, power connector. So these are some of the things you can easily do yourself. Again, all the information's online at this great website for S50 enthusiasts called Llama Music. Uh, just search them out. And um, okay, enjoy your day. Thanks. And if you liked the video, subscribe. Thanks. See you guys.